Hey guys, I'm just going to show you a quick little um, JP farm for pretty early on in Bravely Default 2. Um, so it's just between the two first cities, Halcyonia and Savalon. Uh, you can do this before a certain major event with the guest character in your party to make this a bit faster. I'd advise coming back later on when you've got some uh, layer jobs to level up. You don't really need much for this, just to be a little bit stronger than the enemies. But, if you want to go in for it early, you can do that too. So, what we're going to do, is we're going to round up all these enemies. They need to be running away from you for this to work. Or you can try to circle them up while they're chasing you. Either way works. Um, I'm a little bit stronger, so they'll be running away from me. But what I'm going to do, is try to angle all of the enemies that ch like run away from me. Into one corner, and then start the fight. There's a, there's a system in this game called Consecutive Battle Bonus that will give you a multiplier on your um, job points earned. I'm pretty sure it caps out at 8 battles. will give you 3 times multiplier on your job points. Um, so basically we want to try and get 8 groups of mobs together. Start the battle with them all together on the same spot. Get that nice job multiplier and reap the benefits. As you can see, they're all they're all coming into the corner now. So, another another thing to note is that waiting for night time is important because night time means more monsters in the battles. More monsters in the battles means more job points. More job points means more job points multiplied. So, here they are, all in the corner. I'm gonna try to make sure they're all in the in the very tip of the corner. Um, you can do you can manipulate where they go because. They'll walk directly away from you whenever they see you. So if you walk off to the side a little bit like this, then they'll run off directly away from you the moment you're in their line of sight. So a little bit of manipulation. There you go. So now it's daytime, so I'm just going to quickly speed up the recording instead of just sitting here in uh, real time. That's it. So here comes night. There's there's some items you can get in the game. Um, they're bait items. They will increase the amount of battles you get. I'll show those off later in a in another clip. This was just Let's one of the this. first ones I recorded. So because I'm strong enough, I'm just gonna blast through this battle quickly. Um, AOE attacks. But obviously, if you're two level, it's gonna take a little bit longer. It might be a little dicier. Just make sure that you can finish eight battles in a row, and then you'll be able to do this method. There we go, 762 JP at the end of a single battle. Now it might have looked like I got a lot more JP than 762, and I'll show you why in just a second. So, one of the first jobs I'd recommend doing this method with is the Freelancer. The Freelancer this is the menu where you'll find the, the bait items. I'll show you this again uh, later on. But the Freelancer has an ability that when equipped increases the amount of job points earned. So that 762 you just saw then gets multiplied by 1.7 times. So there's JP up and then JP up and up. And when they're both equipped, 1.7 times multiplier on job points. So obviously combining those two, 762 at the end of that one battle, you're looking at 1300 points. So this is another battle I recorded. This is with every enemy in the area. Uh, I think this is nine battles. I'm going to use one of these beast laws. There's three sets of dogs, uh, wolves, in this battle. But using that will increase the likelihood of even more. So, again, I'm just going to speed up the battle once it gets going. This is going to be fun. I 
Bam! One, two, one, five Another job points. Multiplied by 1.7 per party member within the first 10 hours of the game. It's a pretty crazy job farm. And that's about it. If I find anything else, I'll, uh, I'll make another video. Until then, have fun maxing out all your jobs.